Hey guys, well it's not like any of us need an excuse to go buy more fishing equipment, but today I thought it might help you out a little bit, give you an excuse to head to your local Walmart. Now if you're new to the channel, this you haven't seen this before, but for those of you that have watched my videos or subscribe, kind of a new background here. Basically what I've done is I've just moved into an area. This is where I do the editing for all the videos. I used to be kind of over in a corner. I just got done expanding this over the last few weeks. So you might see a few videos coming from here, from my editing area. The other room around the corner out there is where I do the painting videos where you watch each week when I paint the lures. But for now, let's get into this. Walmart, why do we need to head to Walmart? This time of year, at least I've seen here in Nebraska in February, Walmart decides the new fishing equipment is going to be coming in. We need to take the old stuff. We need to put it on clearance. We need to move it and make space for the new stuff. So for me, once we get to February, I start checking my local Walmart just every once in a while to see what's new, what's coming in. And this weekend, I think doing that checking paid off just a little. Now when it comes to fishing rods. Normally, I'm a Dobbins guy. I love Dobbins rods. I don't think for the money you can buy much better quality. I have four Dobbins rods. But I was thinking I might need a new rod this year. It was going to be another Dobbins. But then I stepped into the Walmart. This is a Jason Christie Signature Series Falcon. I had a Falcon rod I bought about three years ago, again when Walmart had them on sale, really loved it, caught the tip in the door and busted it off, which did not make me happy. But anyway, when I was in Walmart the other day, here was a Jason Christie Signature Series. This is a six foot eight medium heavy flex crankbait rod. And that's exactly what I was thinking of picking up this year, was a second crankbait rod. Normally, as I said, it would have been a Dobbins. But Walmart sells this for $94. Right now when I had it on clearance, I picked this up for $45. And as much as I love the Dobbins rods, when I can pick up a Falcon rod for $45, that's going to be my new rod. So that's what I did. Now, if you're not into Falcon rods and stuff like that, I happen to notice they had a good supply of ugly sticks. Of course, that's in my store. What's going to be in yours, it's hard to say. But the ugly sticks are a pretty good rod. Normally I think they were selling for $38. They had those marked down to $19. If you can pick up an ugly stick for $19, I mean, if you're not going to get it for yourself, what better rod can you get to for a kid? For $19, that's a pretty good rod to be given to somebody and not having to spend a lot of money. Now, the other thing I did, most everything I have is bait casters. I have no spinning reels, so no spinning rods. But I did have a couple small ultralight Zebcos when we did trout fishing or every once in a while I'd get them out for crappie or bluegill, but for the most part, I'm throwing bait casters for bass. Well, I decided this year we're going to come back and maybe do a little more ultralight fishing, which Bob's going to love to hear that because I know Bob likes to do a lot of ultralight. And part of the reason was I couldn't pass this up. Now, as I said, I have no spinning reels. What I bought here is the Zebco 33 Micro T, which is a trigger spin. And I thought, let's try that. We'll do, do something like that. And one of the main reasons I picked that up, I found it on sale for $7. Now, I paired that up. This is a uh, Zebco Rhino Tough 6 foot medium light ultralight rod. I thought this has really got a lot of nice flex to it. It'd be a really good rod to put with it. And I bought that rod for $11. Rod and reel put together normally on everyday price is $41. I spent $18 for the whole rig. I mean, how can you go wrong for $18? Bucks? And now with an ultralight, I think I'm going to do it like this. Going to go out and try to do a lot more ultralight fishing. If I can get, ever get the ice off the lake, First things we're going to be going after is some trout with this ultralight. I love that for the money. Now, it's not just rods and reels, though that's a good place to save a lot. Soft plastics. Uh, the young, these are the your uh, crawdad style. I got crawdad, I got worms. 
Normally at a, our Walmart, I think it's $2.96 for a bag like this. They always put a box down at the bottom. When they want to get something moved, they stick their yellow tags on them and they throw them on the box in the bottom. Well, I happen to get there about the time they must have filled the box because I ended up picking up a dozen bags of various yum soft plastics. And I think I've covered the colors and the bases. And instead of $2.96, I paid $1.96. So on a dozen bags, I saved 12 bucks on that. Well, like I said, you know, we don't need excuses to buy fishing equipment. We can do that all the time without too much trouble. But if there's ever a way to justify buying a new rod or buying a new reel, it's finding it marked down at 50% off. And that's what I'm finding right now at my local Walmart. So I want to take a minute, real quick video, let you know you got time this weekend. Go out and take a look. See if you can find yourself some deals. Thanks for sticking with me. See you next time.